Well, good morning. This morning our scripture is found in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, beginning in verse 6, and it goes like this. But this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man accordingly, as he purposed in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. Not too long ago, not too many days ago, we talked about sowing and reaping. And uh, today, it's much the same. You know, most preachers and evangelists, they will not uh, preach or, or teach on the subject of giving and tithing. Uh, while others seem to, that's all they talk about is. <laughs> so I, I just wanted to put in my two cents worth, you know, uh, I feel sorry for the preachers that won't teach or preach on tithing because it's, it's a necessity. The church doors can't remain open if there isn't tithing. Uh, you know, and, and a lot of preachers, they overdo it. Uh, that's all they talk about is giving. And, uh, you know, and that's, that's the ones that they had the big houses and the big fancy cars. And, you know, it's not for you and I to be God's monitor. No, it's not. What, once you do the will of God uh, and you you give like you're supposed to give, uh, hey, that's that's God's business then. You've done your part. Let God do his part. The, uh, the story of uh, the uh, two mites, do you remember that? I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it's found here. Uh, yes, in uh, Mark chapter 12, uh, verses 42 and 44, about the little widow lady that, that dropped in two mites. Yet Jesus himself said that she gave more than everyone else because she gave it from her abundance. That's all she had. She gave her all. Yet many of us have an abundance. It's in the bank. It's drawn little interest. But you know, God calculates interest differently than men. Yeah, he does. He does. We find over in Malachi... Uh, chapter 3, uh, beginning in verse 8, and it goes like this, Will a man rob God? Yet ye rob me. But ye say, Wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. Ye are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house. And prove me now wherewith, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open up the windows of heaven, the windows of heaven, and pour out a blessing, and there shall be room, there shall not be room enough to receive it. So when we don't give, if we don't give our time, if we don't give our money, we're just cutting our throat on a blessing. 
Absolutely. You know, uh, over in Luke, it says, Give and it shall be given unto you good measure, pressed down and shaken together and running over. God loves a cheerful giver. God loves a cheerful giver. So the more you give, the more he gives. So why aren't we giving? Preachers, teach on giving, the principles of giving, sowing and reaping. Remember, not long ago, I talked about one grain of wheat will produce 80 grains. And that's just nature. Think what God can do for you. Well, I hope this helps someone today. May God richly bless you. I love you, but better yet, Jesus loves you because he died on the cross for you and I, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.